Hey guys, I'm Saurav. Welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about shooting and editing fast paced B-rolls. In this video, I will show you the whole process of shooting the videos and also later how I edit them to create the final product. I'm going to share a few tips as well that will help you to level up your B-roll. It's going to be a super, super exciting video. So without wasting any time, let's get started. The first thing I do before shooting the video, very very important, is selecting a proper music track that I'm going to use for my b-roll. I prefer tracks with faster beats just because I'm going for a fast paced b-roll. If I want to shoot a slow paced b-roll, I will select the music accordingly. The reason I do this before shooting the video is it gives me the idea of what exactly I have to shoot. Let's listen to the music one more time with more attention. So in the first 5 seconds, we have 10 bits. I am counting the beats in the music track because now I get to know how many different types of clips I want to shoot. At each and every bit, there has to be something different. It's like choreographing a dance based on a music track. Once I listen to the music multiple times, once I get a gist of it, I'll start shooting the video. It's a very simple setup. Just a single light source. From the top at about 45 degrees. The backdrop is the same, which I use for videos. It's not exactly black, but we can fix that. I just rotate the light a bit to make sure there is not much light on the background and underexpose the shot intentionally by one third of a stop. If I want some extra light on the subject, I use this small aperture light. Right now, I'm using the Nikon Z6 paired with the 105mm 2.8 macro lens. The reason I love using a macro lens for these kind of product shots is it helps me to get closer to the product capture those details and this lens helps me to get those super crisp shots. Unless and until I want a different look, I'll stick to the same lens to make sure all the shots are consistent. Talking about camera settings, I am right now shooting at 4K 30fps and my white balance is fixed. Make sure the white balance is fixed because if the white balance is different across different videos, you will have to spend a lot of time correcting it in post processing. Now, the idea for fast paced b-rolls is to shoot very simple kind of videos with not much motion because each and every shot is going to be visible maximum 3 to 5 seconds and if there's a lot of motion, the viewer might not be able to process what the actual subject is. In my videos, you might be seeing a lot of rotating product shots. I feel it's a good way to add interest rather than just using a stable shot. It's not very complex, just a subtle rotating motion. I'm using a rotating turntable. If I find it online, I'll put the link in the description. Just place the product at the center and start shooting. Sometimes what I like to do is capture a tighter shot as well of the same product and with a bit speed ramping and motion blur, it's a very seamless zoom in transition. I'll explain the editing part in a bit. Once I'm happy with how the shots look like and the number of shots based on the beats in the music track, I'll proceed towards editing the video. One tip from my side is always capture more number of videos than you think you need. The reason for this is, suppose you capture a shot, when you're viewing it on a bigger screen, you realize it didn't turn out the way you expected it to. That time, the extra videos will come in handy. Now let's move to the editing phase. This is very important because this is where all the magic happens. But before I start editing the videos, it's time to thank the sponsors of the video who made these videos possible, that is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with a lot of classes. You want to learn how to shoot videos or photos or how to edit them, music, animation, Skillshare is the place to go. Sharing a small story with you people. I grew up watching MKBHD's videos and Marcus is an inspiration for me to start my YouTube channel and to make quality YouTube content. I always wanted to learn from him how he creates his videos. I recently completed a class by Marcus where he shares his scripting process and his process of making videos. Definitely, this will help me to level up quality in my future videos. It doesn't matter how much knowledge experience you have, it's always better to learn new things and that's how you grow and improve. If you want to level up your skills, check out Skillshare. For the first thousand people to click on the link in the description below, you get a free Skillshare trial membership. If you're taking a yearly subscription, you're paying less than 10 US dollars or 800 Indian rupees and you're getting unlimited access to all the classes. So if you want to check out Skillshare, link is in the description. 
Let's start editing the video. I have imported all the footages along with the music track. I line up the videos according to the flow of the B-roll first. I'm using Final Cut Pro 10. You can do the same in Premiere Pro as well. If you want to learn Premiere Pro, I have a separate video on it. Link will be in the description. The idea here is to synchronize the videos along with the beats of the music track. To find the beats, you have to analyze the waveform. The peaks here are the beats. Either there is going to be a cut or some sort of action at every beat. Now talking about cuts, there are three different types of cuts. The first one is where we cut the video and we place another video next to it. Very simple. If you see the first two shots, there's some kind of action and that takes place exactly where you find the peak that is the beat we are looking for. So I make a marking where the action takes place and sync it with the beat. The next shot, there are two beats. The action happens at the second beat. What happens at the first beat is we zoom into the same shot. We cut the shot, increase the scale and this is the second type of a cut which is a very good and simple way to make your b-roll more dynamic. Just make sure you don't overdo it. The idea is something should happen at each and every beat. Now I have three quick beats where I'm going to synchronize the lights of the drone. Again, the action of the light being turned off and on happens with the beats. Then I'm going to use another drone shot where I want the light to be off at this exact beat. So I mark the point where the light starts turning off. I can now either trim the video to cut it short, but I want the complete gimbal movement to be visible. Hence, to match the beats, I will use speed ramping, increase the speed of the movement by 200% to synchronize them. Now coming to the third cut, that is cutting the same shot and removing certain parts between them. So I cut the video, move a bit further, cut it again and delete the part in between. I do the same for the next beat as well. This type of cut is again very useful when you have some kind of continuous movement. With these cuts, you're making the movement less continuous and it matches well with the beats. Then I have a sequence of videos one after the other synced with the beat with the techniques I've shown you before. At the end, I have my five circular shots of different products. The idea here is to keep a bit of secret and not reveal the product completely. So I'm going to use speed ramping and cut the videos according to the beat. Before that, I need to make sure the rotation in all the videos is in the same direction. If it's not, I will reverse the videos with the opposite motion and that is taken care of. Then I speed up the video, cut it on the beat and I'm done. I'm using a motion blur third party plugin to add some blur that helps to create an even more seamless transition. At the end, if you see, there's a beat where the drone starts moving slower. That's again done with the help of speed ramping. I have used motion blur only till the faster part and not for the slower part because I wanted the drone to be visible after it stops moving faster. That's it from this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and got to learn something from it. If you did, press the like button. New to the channel? Definitely consider subscribing for more such quality content. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. 